disciples came to him, saying, Tell us, when will these things be, and what will be the sign of your coming? It's happening. It's really happening. The Bible's holy scriptures in their prophecies foretold thousands of years ago the signs of the last days we would see near the end of this age. The signs in those holy passages of scriptures are secrets to understanding what's really happening now in the world, leading to the apocalypse and the coming of Jesus Christ. And they're really happening like the Bible said. And now we have Syria, along with its allies of Russia and Iran, drawing ever closer to the Israeli border. The tensions at the Golan Heights border between Israel and Syria and its allies are getting hotter and intense. But not only are the tensions rising between the military forces of Israel and Syria with Russia and Iran in northern Israel, but at the same time, the tensions are also rising within the earth in northern Israel as well as the Sea of Galilee adjacent to the Golan Heights. Yes, as the joint Syrian-Russian-Iranian forces were nearing closer toward Israel's border at the Golan Heights, at the same time, earthquakes began to swarm in the Sea of Galilee at the Golan. Here is a clip providing background on the tensions between the military forces and the earthquake forces swarming at Israel's border. Two old enemies came to blows on Tuesday after Israel shot down a Syrian warplane that crossed into the Israeli-occupied Golan Heights. For the second time in as many days, Israeli sirens sounded on the Golan as locals watched the contrails of missiles flying overhead. Israeli military say they first tried to warn the jet off after it crossed one mile into their airspace. Northern Israel was shaken awake Thursday morning by a series of small earthquakes. Measuring at magnitude 4.1, these security camera videos show the streets heaving and shuddering. No one was injured, but residents say they were shaken. Israel is located on a massive fault line called the Dead Sea Transform, where the continental plates of Africa and Arabia meet. And every few generations, those plates begin to grind again. 80,000 of Israel's buildings, including schools and hospitals, were built before 1980 and are not up to the current construction guidelines. And if the Dead Sea Transform is waking up again, that is a catastrophe waiting to happen. There at the end, that was a, an actual graphing that was done by the Israeli Geological Institute as they were actually tracking that swarm of earthquakes that was happening there in Israel. So as the Syrian, Russian, Iranian forces were moving in toward Israel's border at the Golan Heights, at the same time those earthquakes began to swarm in the Sea of Galilee at the Golan Heights. And this is a prophetic sign pointing to what exactly the Bible foretold that is going to happen in a prophecy describing the disastrous future of Iran and Russia there in northern Israel. The events happening now on the ground in Syria shows how in recent weeks the Syrian, Russian, Iranian forces have been moving from the town of Dara in southwest Syria, and then they begin to move westward to the town of Kunetra in the Syrian Solon Heights next to Israel. And as their forces were beginning to advance and move toward the Golan border of Israel, that's when these earthquakes began to swarm. Because we went back and began to check the dates, and we began to look at whenever the, the offense, offensive of Syrian forces, as they were moving and their locations and the date, and then we began to go back and look at the time frame of the dates of these uh, of this earthquake swarm and began to see how that they were corresponding to each other. It was in the time frame of the first week of July 2018 that the Syrian Joint Forces took back the town of Dara in the southwest province from the rebels and then turned westward across Dara province toward Israel's border. And at that same period of time, we reported news articles on our website, signsofthelastdays.org how that multiple earthquakes had begun to swarm 
and rattle northern Israel with some of them at or over 4.0 magnitude at the Sea of Galilee in northern Israel adjoining the Golan Heights. Then in the time frame of the second week of July 2018, as the Syrian Allied forces closed in on and were beginning to take Kunetra at the Syrian Golan Heights next to Israel, the earthquake swarm intensified in northern Israel to where we again reported more news articles on our website, signsofthelastdays.org, reporting news reports how that up to 12 earthquakes had hit the area next to the Golan in the Sea of Galilee. Some of the swarm was happening as Syrian and Iranian forces flew an advancing drone, and we reported about this on the website, as they flew a drone in advance of their forces across the Israel-Golan border and it went for miles over the Israel border until it was over the very position of the earthquake swarm in Israel. And then Israel shot it down over the Sea of Galilee. And now in the third week of July into the fourth, with the Syrian Iranian forces next to Israel's northern border, in fact, so close to Israel's border now that it was reported one of their warplanes flying in support of their ground forces crossed Israel's border for a mile into the Golan Heights, with the Israelis shooting down the fighter jet there. And we again reported at that time another news article on our website how that another earthquake from that swarm had happened before Israel shot down that Syrian fighter jet. What's happening here? I can tell you what's happening. As these tensions were increasing between Israel and Syria, with its allies of Iran and Russia with them, drawing near to the Israeli Golan Heights border. At the same time, adjacent to the Golan Heights and the Sea of Galilee, tensions also in the earth began to increase with earthquakes swarming. It's as if the earth was sensing and groaning in anticipation of what will happen upon Russia and Iran in northern Israel soon when the prophecy of God is fulfilled upon them. For the Ezekiel chapter 38 prophecy foretells that in the last days, Russia, known as Magog, in the prophecy, together with Persian Iranian forces, will make a surprise move with their forces to cross the border and invade northern Israel's sovereignty. The 38th chapter of the Ezekiel prophecy says that Gog, that's G-O-G, of the land of Magog, M-A-G-O-G, the prince of Rush, and Persia are with them. That's what the prophecy says. That on that day it shall come to pass that thoughts will arise in your mind. That's in the Gog of Magog mind. And you will make an evil plan. And it will come to pass at that same time when Gog comes against the land of Israel, says the Lord God, that my fury will show in my face. For in my jealousy and in the fire of my wrath I have spoken. And the prophecy goes on to say, Surely in that day there shall be a great earthquake in the land of Israel. The mountains shall be thrown down, the steep places shall fall, and every wall shall fall to the ground. I will call for a sword against Gog throughout all my mountains, says the Lord God. Then they shall know that I am the Lord. So the Lord God of heaven becomes so incensed by their deceitful, evil actions against Israel that he destroys their forces there in northern Israel with a mighty earthquake. And right now today, we have an earthquake swarm that began rumbling in northern Israel in the same location as the forces of modern-day Russia, known in biblical history as Magog, and modern-day Iran, known in biblical history as Persia, as they began to draw near to Israel's northern border. It's a sign of this prophecy from God, warning us of its soon coming fulfillment. That's the way God is, always warning first, endeavoring to save, because God's grace compels him to provide a warning of grace so anyone willing to respond does not have to perish. Lot and his family had messengers sent from God to save them before he destroyed the city of Sodom and Gomorrah with fire. God gave the ancient world, gave them Noah, and he preached the righteous plan of God for them to be saved in the ark of safety God provided before God sent the flood of judgment. And the evil city of Nineveh, 
had a messenger sent from God named Jonah to warn them, and they repented and were saved. And for the last days, God, who is a spirit of love, manifested himself through Jesus Christ, his son, who willingly gave himself to the death of the cross to cover the curse of sin for all of humanity so that whosoever will respond to his plan in the biblical Holy Scriptures, when they hear it, can be born again spiritually into the kingdom of God through Jesus Christ and be covered by the grace and love of Jesus, and be saved from the wrath of judgment to come against all those who choose to live in ungodliness. And for them, the last days are not the end, those who are born again into the kingdom of God. It's not the end, but the beginning of a wonderful new future as immortals with Jesus Christ in his kingdom of peace, to which there shall be no end. I encourage you, Search the scriptures. Come to know Jesus Christ. Make a decision for Jesus to be Lord of your life and be born again spiritually into the kingdom of God as Jesus and his apostles commanded in John 3 and Acts 2. And you will have life and peace eternal.